Okay, you beautiful electricity loving audience. I've come to bring you a bit of knowledge about just that. What we're gonna do is today, we're gonna look into batteries and how they function, how they work, how they're made. We're gonna actually make a battery ourselves. So for this experiment, you're gonna need some lemons, some coins, electric wire, a bunch of galvanized nails, crocodile clips, and you're also gonna need an LED. You might wanna get a bit of plasticine or sticky tack for you to keep your lemons from falling over. Right, so we wanna make a battery and we're gonna use some of the stuff that I said before. But how is that stuff gonna help us make a battery? How exactly do batteries work? Well, actually, they go back to about 1800 when the first actual battery was made. It was by a guy called Alexandro Volta. And what he done is he basically stuck different materials together in a big pile, it's called a voltaic pile. And when he stuck two electrodes at the top and bottom, he was able to induce an electric current. Now, electric current is just basically a flow of charge from one place to the other. And you know, charge is basically positive or negative, which is why on a battery, you always have a positive side and a negative side. A battery is a group of cells, a cell being one unit that produces electrical energy. So first up, let me take my ingredients and put this actual cell together. So we're gonna make a single cell and we're gonna do that by taking a single lemon, which has acid going for it. Now the good thing about the acid is that it's actually good at letting electric charge travel through it. Now, when electric charge moves from one place to the other, if it's positive and moves from there to there, it makes this side more positive. And because it's not there anymore, this side would be more negative. So we're gonna take this copper, this zinc covered nail, and we're gonna stick them into the lemon. Now what these are called are electrodes. They're the place where electricity can go in and come out, or electric charge, I should say, can go in or come out. Now I ask you, can that provide us with electricity, with electrical current? Well, let's check. Wow. You see what I mean? That's like 1.01, 1.01 volts. See, volts are named after that guy, Volta, that I was talking about earlier. So, if we can get 1.01 volts from one lemon, maybe we can increase the amount of lemons or increase the amount of cells to try and increase the amount of voltage we can get. Now, the way electricity flows, electricity flows through stuff. It can conduct through things like this wire. So if I connect this wire up to this lemon here, I connect it to the nail. What we should have is now two cells connected together. So what should happen is the electric current should flow from one in through the other. Okay, so as you can see, here's a whole load that I made earlier. Classic, I know. And let's check how much total voltage we've got going through all of these that have been placed in series. Fluctuating 9.3, probably because my hands are slightly not keeping still. 9.32. So let's see if we can use that to power something. Well, we've got an LED here. So if you take this LED, Right here, light emitting diode. And what this will do is it will light up if you put voltage for it in a single direction. Let's take this, and you can see, we take back end, which is the negative side, which receives electrons. And we'll get them from here. The zinc side, which is two electrons being sent out. So that's sending out electrons. Here you go. Loads of different electrons actually it's sending out. We're gonna stick this to this side and hopefully the LED should light. Wow, isn't that impressive? How bright is that? Ah, there you go. See, now you're talking. I don't believe that I've actually, this is actually being powered by lemons. This is no trick, people. This isn't a trick, right? You can see no tricks up my sleeves, obviously. So, that is basically how a battery works. You need a solution, you need two dissimilar metals, and you need a wire to connect the two. We can use that. Well, to power loads of things. So give it a go at home. Let us know how you get on. Once again, don't forget, subscribe.